Can you um, start by telling us how you got involved in that? I think like everyone else, uh, Mr. Geldof rang me up and he said we're doing this record and we're all getting there together. And I couldn't make the original session. So he said, well, will you just say something on the B-side? So I made up some silly noises to go on the B-side just to help out. And then when this was happening, he said, you've got to come on and sing, you know. And I said, oh, I can't, Bob, I haven't got a band together now. He said, well, you just sit at the piano and do your own number. How's that for a Geldof person? So that was it, you know, I just had to come. Simple as that. And what made you choose the song that you chose? He chose it. He's running the whole bloody show. Do you think that there's been this outpouring of, of hope uh, and idealism in, in, in a decade which hasn't really been noted for that? It may not have been noted for it, but I think it's been there. I don't think uh, we were ever any less charitable than we are now. But it needs people like Bob to organise it, you know, it needs people to put it together. I think uh, whenever television comes over with those kind of pictures, you'll find people responding. Don't, uh... And I think, you know, I think people are fed up of seeing those pictures and thinking, what can I do about it? And you never know where to send your pennies or what you can do, you know. Because uh, obviously, like, uh, I remember the days of like Bangladesh when George put together a similar concert. And uh, the problem was really how to get the money to the people, to get it to work, to translate it into food, instead of it just going into some corrupt uh, government official's pocket, you know. But, uh, so I rung up Bob actually about this point, and I said, look, you're going to make a lot of money there, but uh, are you sure it's going to all the right places? And he sort of gave me all the right answers. He said, oh, we've got a fellow down there, so Gus O'Keefe and all this, we've got the BBC doing this, you know. And you know Bob, you know, he just... That was his cue to rabbit on for the, the next half hour. How much does this particular concert mean to you in, in the context of all the other, many others that you've played in, in your career? Well, I mean, for me, this it, it's been part of this. I mean, I'm not really doing much. I'm, I've only been asked to do the one song. So as far as like the concert's concerned, it's different from anything I've ever done. But um, I've been watching it all day on the television, you know, and just the feeling uh, that's being generated is... It's a first, you know, it's never been done, and it's, uh, it's a huge event, you know, it could be the start of something big. I think this isn't what's doing, I think it's within pop anyway. I think, you know, you want to look at sort of Dylan, Beatles, a lot, it's a lot of people, you know, who've, who've been doing uh, Save the World kind of songs, All You Need Is Love, you know, and stuff like that for a long time. I think it's all there, it just needs to be awoken. I think there's a lot of people who are, are dealing in messages. Uh, I think it's like, in a way, it's like it always was. There's always the undercurrent dealing in messages. Uh, there's a lot of bands around now who are dealing in, in social message. Um, but you've still got you people who are more interested in glamour, you know, and a, a bit of each evens it all out. You know, I, I think it'd be boring one way. I think it's nice. It's a good mix, really. But um, Which is the set you've enjoyed most watching on television today? I'm going to say what everyone else has said, you know, I, lo I loved a lot of the stuff, you know. I'm not going to pick out one person because everyone's done it, you know, and they're, they're all brilliant as far as I'm concerned.